Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to set your crossovers, your HPF, your LPF, on an amp like this. So, let's say you're running all coaxials. You got some 6x9s out back, you got some 5 and quarters up front, whatever. You're going to turn your high pass filter on. Now what this is going to do is allow frequencies from the set point up to play. And everything below that, it will block out. So, let's say you read on your specs that your uh, speaker has a frequency response from like 100 hertz and up. You're going to set the crossover point to around 100 hertz. Now, in this amp, it's not labeled. So, it's kind of hard for me to tell you. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, it's not labeled. So, it's going to be hard to tell. But you'll just want to play around with that. Ideally, you just don't want a whole whole lot of bass going to your coaxials because they're not going to be able to handle that. So let's say this is set at 100 hertz. It's going to play everything above 100 hertz. It's going to block everything below 100 hertz. And you're running all four channels like that. You're going to set this other one the same. Now maybe your five and a quarter's can't handle that much bass, so you're going to turn them up a little bit, but your uh, six by nines can. Turn them down a little bit. Maybe they'll look at 80 hertz. Turn your five and a quarters up to 120. Now, let's turn all this back down. It's that simple for the coaxial setup, by the way. You don't need to mess with anything else. You don't need to mess with the low pass. All you need to do is mess with the high pass filter just just to cross that mid out because the tweeter is already internally crossed with the inline cap that's on it. So you don't need to worry about that. Now let's say this is probably what most people will be doing is running a mid, a pair of mids and some, and some tweeters. So you have um, your tweeters on one and, one and two and then your mids on three and four. Okay, now let's set the tweeters. Now let's set the tweeters. We're going to turn our high pass filter on. Remember what I said, it blocks frequencies below that set point. Now on a tweeter, all tweeters are different, but around 2000 to 3.5 kilohertz is where you're across the tweeter. You'll really want to look at the frequency response of a tweeter because they do not like lower frequencies. Some of them handle it better than others. But definitely up in the thousands. We're going to turn our multi switch on to times 10 on channels 1 and 2 only. What this is going to do is exactly what it says times 10. On times 1, we can only adjust 20 hertz to 80 hertz. On times 10, this will allow us to do 200 hertz up to 8 hertz kilohertz again we do not have crossover labeling so we don't exactly know where the crossover point is you would use something like maybe a cc1 from smd um or unless the manual has it labeled i don't have the manual so i'm not too sure but We know all the way up is 8 kilohertz. So maybe around there. So, But you get the idea. Turn the multi-switch on for the tweeters. Okay. Now then. On the mid. Same thing. Turn our high pass filter on, leave it on times one, adjust your crossover to around 80 to 100 to 120 hertz. Mids do not like low, low bass. They cannot handle like 60 to 50 to 40 to 30 hertz, full tilt, etc.
Now that we have our mid crossed around 100 hertz, you can either choose to let the speaker roll off naturally. So let's say it has a frequency response from 100 hertz to uh, 8 kilohertz. You could either just let it roll off naturally, or if you wanted, you could bandpass this. The mid will only play from its low pass to its high pass setting or low pass to its high pass setting. So if you wanted to band pass this, turn your low pass filter on, on the mid section, turn the multi on, or I'm sorry, leave the multi off. We're gonna band pass this from, okay, sorry, we're gonna band pass this from 80 hertz to around 3.5 kilohertz where the tweeter was set. So. We're crossing our mid around 80 hertz. And then we want to cross it up to around 3.5 kilohertz. We're going to turn our low pass filter on. We're going to turn our multi switch on. This will allow us to adjust 500 hertz to 8 kilohertz. Again, we don't exactly know where the crossover points are on this. So we have our crossover point on the tweeter about here. And again, this is going to be different. This isn't going to be the exact same. So we're going to turn our mid up to around there and Ideally, this would be playing from 80 hertz to around 3 kilohertz, and then the tweeter would take off at 3, kilo, 3 kilohertz and up. Okay. And then your sub will play 80 hertz and down. Okay. And it's pretty much that simple. I hope that makes sense. I know I've kind of jumbled this up a little bit, but I'm just doing this on the fly. I don't uh, script this or anything like that. So... So let's say, uh, also, let's just say you're running all tweeters on this. Okay. If you want to run all tweeters on this, we're going to turn our high pass filter on. Okay. We're going to turn our low pass filter off. We're going to leave the low pass filter section alone. Okay, we're going to turn our high pass filter settings on times 10. And that's because they control 200 hertz to up to 8 kilohertz. Again, tweeters do not generally play lower than around 2 kilohertz around there. Okay, sorry, where was I? So we're going to turn our multi switch on times 10. And remember, these are tweeters around 2 kilohertz and up. Okay, so again, we don't exactly know where the crossover points are, so but we'll be okay because we have it up pretty high here. <laughs> or we should be okay. Okay, where was I again? Sorry. Okay, it's hard doing videos outside like this. Okay, so we have our multi switch on times 10. We have our crossover set around 3.5, give or take. And that's it for the tweeters. That's all four channels for the tweeters. No need to mess with the low pass filter settings. Okay, now then, let's say you're running all mids on this. Again, high pass filter on to block all those low frequencies. 
adjust your crossover points, let's say around 100 hertz. And from here, you can either choose to let the speakers roll off to their natural frequency response, or you can set up what's called a bandpass filter. Now, a bandpass filter allows you to play from one frequency, one frequency set point to the next. So we have our speakers set at 100 hertz, and they'll play everything from 100 hertz up. Let's turn our low pass filter on and set that to 800 hertz. Now that speaker is only going to play from 100 to 800 hertz. And of course, if you wanted it to play higher than 800 hertz, you just turn your multi switch on and then you can adjust. You can allow it to play up to 8 kilohertz. And this will be the same for if you have mid bass or mid range. You just need to know your frequency response of the speaker. Okay. So uh, what's left here? Say you're running some mids and some tweeters. Let's say on one and two, you're running your tweeters. On three and four, you're running your mids. Okay, one and two is your tweeters. We're going to leave low pass filter off for the tweeters. We're going to turn the high pass filter on for the tweeters. We're going to turn our multi switch on times 10. And we're going to set our crossover point to around 3 kilohertz or so. That's it for the tweeters. No need to mess with the low pass filter section. Now for the mids. Times one. Set your low pass filter to around 100 hertz. And again, you could either choose to let the speaker roll off naturally, or you could bandpass this to play up to the tweeter frequency response. So the tweeters crossed over at 3 kilohertz, crossed the mid at 80 to 3 kilohertz. To do this, low pass filter on. multi-switch on times 10 and then you would adjust the crossover point up to 3.5 kilohertz or 3 kilohertz wherever you have the tweeter set to the lowest point and now this would be the the sub would play up to 80 hertz the mids would play to 80 to 3 kilohertz the tweeters would play to 3 kilohertz and up that's a basic setup that's a basic active setup I believe that's it guys. Off the top of my head, if you have any questions, just drop a comment. Again, I'm going to be running all coaxials. So I am going to set my high pass filter on. Both channels, three and four, or one, two, three and four. And I am simply going to set my crossover points to around 100 hertz and that's it for my coaxial setup again the tweeter has an inline cap it's already crossed over it's fine no need to mess with it we're good to go there and that's it guys that's if you want to set a crossover that's if you want to set your crossover points your high pass your low pass filters on an amplifier like this see ya